Before you begin to set your denture teeth, you should make a couple of reference lines on your cast. Firstly, you should outline the retromolar pad. And on that circle of the retromolar pad, you should put a point midway along the retromolar pad and bring that line outwards, put it on your land area. In addition to the retromolar pad, you should take a look at your arch from the side and take a look at where the horizontal plane of the residual ridge is and then determine where that horizontal plane starts to become more vertical and put a line there on the ridge and bring that out onto the land area as well. And a very important reference line is the midline of the mandibular ridge. You'll find that most ridges have a little bit of curvature. Your object is to find the mean middle of the ridge throughout one side of the arch. The easiest way to do that is to take your true bite auto rule, which is clear, and center it over in the best way that you can, the center of the ridge, and then to draw lines out on your land area and also continue those lines along the middle of the ridge as you see them. Those lines will help you determine where you want the central fossa of the mandibular teeth and where you want the lingual cusp of the maxillary teeth to fall on. Once you've done that, the other thing to do is to turn your cast around, take a look at the anterior portion of the ridge and determine where that is. This line will help you determine uh, where your lower incisors are in relationship to the ridge. So again, we take the middle point of the best guess of where the middle of the anterior portion is and again draw a line out onto the land area and across the ridge. When you take your wax rim on your record base um, you will be able to transfer those lines onto the record base. At this time we already have set some teeth here. It will be easy to use those reference lines to determine if the central fossas are set along the middle of the arch. So if we line up our lines, we should see the edge of the ruler going down the middle of the fossa as they do here. Before we actually get to setting the teeth though, it's helpful for us to take our auto rule, line it up with our reference lines on the land area and actually scribe the line down the middle of the wax rim so that you can see as we tilt this back and forth there we now have a nice line in the wax that shows us where exactly the center of the ridge is. The same thing can be done with the anterior reference line that we've placed and again we would just scribe that in the wax so that that's visible when we're setting our denture teeth. In the maxillary arch we don't have as many reference lines but one of the most important is the is the maxillary midline and we would mark that in the patient's mouth. Once we did that then we would go ahead and transfer that to the anterior portion of the land area on our cast. Additionally we would take our auto rule again, place that down the midline of the maxillary arch and transfer that line out to our land area on the posterior aspect of the cast. So now we have that midline down the middle of the maxillary arch. We can take our true bite ruler, line it up along that, bring it up to the distal aspect of the incisive papilla and again mark those areas out on the land area. And those will be important reference marks for determining whether we set our maxillary canine teeth in their proper position. Again, when we put our auto rule on, we can actually scribe the line going through the mark on the land area, on the anterior aspect and the posterior aspect, and actually scribe that into the wax so that again you can see that as we tilt it a little bit. That will help us when we want to determine where that anterior reference line distal to the incisive of the pill is. If we line up our median line on the auto rule here and move it up and back 
until we line it up with the, our reference lines on the land area, those will give us reference marks for our canines and we'll be able to tell if the canines are set symmetrically one side to the other.